I've recently got hooked on chocolate kale smoothies. They're really good. So let me show you how I make mine. First, I put the bananas in the bottom. I try to put the softer stuff at the bottom of the mixer or blender. I highly recommend the Vitamix blender if you can afford it. It's pretty expensive. I think it's like almost four or five hundred dollars. This one was, but it's but it really is a doozy. So I go ahead and and at the end of the video, I'll show you how you have to really wash the kale good. So I also put uh, a carrot, one carrot in there and one apple. Again, make sure you triple wash all your fruits and vegetables. And one of my favorite subscribers gave me a tip on how to get the pesticides off your uh, food there. You can put a little bit of white vinegar in the water as you're rinsing off your kale and vegetables and fruit. I'm going to add a few scoops of peanut butter in mine. I think this is one of the secret ingredients on what makes it taste good. Uh, I put three scoops of peanut butter in there, but you can put less if you want. Now here's uh, the trick. You're going to get some almond milk and chocolate flavored almond milk. Now if you're going to make a smoothie for two or three people, you're going to put about a half, half of this in there. Really, actually what I'm showing you here is good for about maybe four or five servings. Again, half of half a gallon of the chocolate almond milk in there. And just a quick overview, you got one banana, one apple, one carrot, some uh, kale, and peanut butter. And now I'm going to show you how well this Vitamix can work. It's really a doozy, I tell you. Uh, best blender I've ever seen or used. Here we go. That's tasty. So as you can see there, it only took about a minute and 30 seconds for the Vitamix to blend it up. It's really good. And then whatever's left over, you can just put in the refrigerator. And here's a little tip on how to get that pesticides off your uh, salads and kale and your vegetables. You soak it in the water, but you add a little bit of white vinegar to the mixture and that vinegar will cut through the pesticides. And look at this dirt. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a visual on why you really, really want to clean it good.